having moved here to work and study, are being celebrated in a new exhibition at Mayfair's Gallery 54. Niches and Nuances looks at the sense of belonging and community felt in London's artistic world and the shared bond that creatives have. We've been speaking to some of those involved. We've got some really strong artists this year, which I'm very excited about. In particular, we have some new types of art as well, so we have textile artists with us um, showing this year. So it's really, you know, we've really got a great group of people. We have photography, we have painting, we have illustration. This is one of our key pieces by Susan Sputnik, and she's a photographer and painter also. And this is a wonderful piece of work that really kind of shows our exhibition off because it's held in the summer in London. Certain time is one of the most popular um, exhibition spaces in London. And you can see the swans here that are sort of, I think that's very London as well, the way that, that we think of the swans and they are, you know, floating around on the lake, enjoying themselves um, in front of a really fantastic, uh, very famous artwork. These particular four pieces are about memories and they're called Memory Sleeves. They're from her dad's record collection. And that, so it's a very personal and intimate piece of work that she has here. The sewing machine is also very, very important. So she discovered that by chance, actually. She doesn't do any drawing before. It just completely comes you know, off the cuff and it's a very, very creative process and she uses the machine, it's like an extension of her hands. James Gray's work is inspired by his dreams and I think the colour is just overpowering and overwhelming and it's fantastic. And he actually got into art through art therapy which is really interesting so he's one of our artists who, for him, his work has completely developed from something that was going to be a very short term art class to actually becoming a full time career. He's a, an inspiration to all of us to, to go out there and, and learn something new, I think. So this particular piece is actually called I Dream in Colour. And I think the whole dreaming process is something that we don't really talk about very much with people. But it's very much something that, that we do and it's there. Um, and you wake up and you kind of forget about it. But these pieces are sort of a, more of a permanent uh, recollection of those experiences. Those works will be on display at Gallery 54 in Mayfair until Sunday. That is all from the news team this evening. Thank you for watching. We'll be back at 6 tomorrow. We'll leave you this evening with some of your pictures of London that you've posted online using the hashtag LondonLife from me. Have a lovely night. Take care.